Today I'm gonna go over my Whole Foods top five items. These are things I can only find at Whole Foods and haven't been able to find at other stores that I normally shop at like Trader Joe's, Ralph's, Publix, or Walmart. And the first thing on that list is ketchup. Before Whole30, when I would look at a nutritional label and decide whether something was healthy for me or not, I would look at the calories, total fat, and carbs. If that is what you look at to decide whether something is healthy for you or not, give this video a thumbs up. And in the comments down below, let me know what you focus on. Do you focus on the calories, the total fat, or the carbs and keeping that in mind we're going to compare the ketchup that i used to use before to the ketchup that i use now but we're going to look at the ingredients and when looking at ingredients they go in order of abundance so for this product the ingredients tomato concentrate high fructose corn syrup and corn syrup so this whole bottle is basically sugar so in the morning when i would have my eggs and then drench them in ketchup i was having a ton of high fructose corn syrup and all i was looking at was 20 calories for one tablespoon, that is not so bad. Now I realize this is a terrible option. And now the ketchup that I use is by the Primal Kitchen and this has organic tomato concentrate, balsamic vinegar, and less than 2% of salt. So which one is healthier? This one for sure. The next thing on my list is bacon. This is by The Nature's Ranch, and I've only been able to find compliant bacon at Whole Foods. I haven't found any bacon without added sugar at Trader Joe's or any of the stores that I normally shop at. So if you have bacon, go grab it, check the ingredients. Most likely it has added sugar, but if you replace it with this, you won't miss a thing. Next thing on my list is this Caesar dressing by Primal Kitchen. Um, not just this Caesar dressing, they have ranch dressing, Thousand Island balsamic, and they all are Whole30 approved. They don't have added sugar, and the dressings that I used before Whole30, they all had added sugar. And the next thing on my list is this citrus and herb marinade by the new Primal. I love all of their marinades and seasonings. Now when people think about Whole30, they think that they're gonna have to eat food that's bland and boring without any flavor, but that doesn't have to be the case. You can make really, really good dishes that are full of flavor. And if you are new to my channel, welcome, I'm Betsy. I love making food that's easy to make and that's full of flavor. So if you're new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button and check out all my other videos. Check out all my other recipes. I'm sure you're going to love it and you're going to have a completely different view of Whole30. Um, so moving on <laughs> to what I was talking about, they have a lot of great marinades. I've tried all of them and I love them. I'm super excited that they also have a barbecue sauce because I was looking for a barbecue sauce and all the ones that I found, they all had added sugar, but the barbecue sauce that the new Primal has is compliant and the main ingredient is water, apple cider vinegar, and tomato paste. So that is definitely healthy. And comparing that to another uh, barbecue sauce like this one, this um, Margaret had in her pantry and Margaret Margaret is Eric's mom and the ingredients on this is the first thing high fructose corn syrup so this whole bottle is basically high fructose corn syrup ton of sugar not healthy you can get a much better healthier option that doesn't have added sugar by the new primal the last thing on my list is this Rouse marinara sauce. And I love marinara sauce. It's one of those things that I feel like you can add to anything and it just gives it that extra flavor. So if you make veggies, add some marinara sauce, make some eggs, add marinara sauce, anything with marinara sauce, I feel like it just gives it that extra deliciousness. So that is the power of marinara sauce. And when I first started Whole30, this Rouse was the only one that I found that was compliant because it didn't have um, like added sugar but when I went to the store earlier today and I was trying to um, show you all hey look check the ingredients because most marinara sauces have added sugar basically every single one that I grabbed off the shelf they didn't have added sugar marinara sauce right organic seems like it would be healthy so let's look at the ingredients 
Oh, okay. This, wow. Haha, <laughs> 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 just kidding. <laughs> Alright, this is good. Typically, they're loaded with sugar. Just like ketchup. Alright, well, let's check this one out. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 seems like the marinara sauces are stepping up their game. Another one that seems to be compliant. Anyway, well, now you see uh, quite a few options that are Whole30 compliant. Whole Foods is now adding more marinara sauces that are Whole30 compliant. And that's it for my Whole Foods Top 5. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great weekend and I will see you all next week.